Mateo, Beatrice is a member of HRDC, uh, chairperson of the HRDC, um, uh, Keith Trapensi, Luke Tembo, national coordinator, and Mr. Ali Mwajande. Uh, and I'll hand over to the chairperson to kick off the proceedings. Uh, thank you uh, very much for the introductions. Uh, Joyamba, the Sanayambe press briefing in Menei, Tingo Panga, my introduction, Majangu, the Saime, Vadungo Zodi, Godi, Murumu Murindani, Mene Timajitira, Demuna and Yambo Chau, Kubito. Thank you. Yep. Last side. Thank you. The camera people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, this is what we're going to a Malawi. We song Hanandi to Warurangani. We HRDC. Ibangisa. Joyamba. Tu abebe se abale. Kavina mawanja amene analuza abale ndi alongo ku COVID-19. Ngadi nzika ndi chinthu chowa kwambiri. Kuluza Abale ndi alongo, kuluza azinzatu, kuluza makolo watu, kuluza chemare atu. Nichoa wakambiri, kumajia chikuru, nijaguti, chirungamo, chaonega. Kudikodi amene anabangisa, abale atu kudi aluze mioyo posoa oxygen mpoya opumira nindani ndiye ndi madi tisa na yambe songano watu watu langani ndi kufuna tiwalemekeze abale amene anataya mioyao amene anaikidwa maboma osena siyana tiwalemekeze mizimu yao kudi iuse muntendere Tima, kuti ndi tu tipeleke one minute ulemu kwa abale amene anadisia ku covid 19 Mene tina nena poyambirira Kuti ngarecha la DC Ifeo tibiriza Kuhimi ya malako Tina nena po Masikuwa mpuyomu Kuti amene anabandarama Za malawi Zote tezira mio ya malawi Drama zimenezo azisanza. Ndipo ndukubele zaso, mawa mene tinanena ntawe yo. Kuti ndrama zimenezo nditu azisanza. Ndiyele lo, situ kufuna kujulu uta zonena. Tifugwa mioyo ya Malawi. Mioyo yatu. Nditu ndiyo pweteka. Ndiyo wawa. Pona nkanza 
zimene uh, amalawe anzathu aurijidira maga maga anthu ogwira nchito za boma zo senasiana chifukwa chake ndi tutakhala osauka kunthawa itali chifukwa chake ndi tutukhani miseu yokumbika kumbika ma location tadziwa chifukwa chake ngati anthu akugawa na ndalama 6.2 billion ngati mango kuli bwanji budget ya 1 trillion kodi budget imene it is safe ndiye ifeyo ngati chala DC tabwera bano kuti tiuze Malawi komaso tiuze boma chofuna kuchita kuti nkhanza zimenezi ndithu titese amalawi tinaenda miseu timafuna kuti tuone kusintha kwa zinthu siti mafuna kuti tuone nkhanza ngati zimenezi ndiye nthawi yakwana yoti tikonze zinthu ngati amalawi ndi chinthu chowa kwambiri kuti amalawi ndithu amamenyera ufulu kawene ma ufulu osena siana kuti ndithu akaone nkhanza ngati zimenezi ndiye ineyo ndi apatse azinzanga kuti awerenge a uh, statement imene ikupita kwa Malawi iri ni ndonomeko umene ndi tutukufuna a Malawi achite komaso tukufuna boma lichite ndi apatse bambulu tembo uh, kuti uh, atiwerengere chikara chimene chi komaso a uh, mai bitres mateyo uh, aza tiwerengera a uh, zimene ndi tutupanga demand uh, kuti zichitike bambulu tembo uh, Most uh, Jerusa Gagandiwa, um, Role Nigudi, the Veregi Tonsi Tonsi, Cha Chigara to Jalero, Chifuka Jantawi, Sindita Kuere and Gayonse, Commanding Goverega Samari, Ya Zimene <coughs> Zirimenem. Um, statement ya tu iri nchizungu ndiye ndi sintha ndi amba kwa yankula nchizungu kwa mano uh, tika mapidiliza ndi nso nkano watu paka waso mwai uone na uh, zimene ziti mu statement imene hii kwa mano uh, mjijewa um, this statement comes uh, following the release of the COVID-19 audit report and as HRDC, we've read and analyzed with absolute dismay uh, the report on the usage and accountability of the 6.2 billion COVID-19 as disbased, um, uh, as released by the National uh, Audit Office. First and foremost, and importantly so, HRDC would like to commend the National Audit Office for compiling this thorough and in-depth report. This is a detailed report that leaves no doubt as to who the culprits are and how the public money was looted by some heartless public servants. The report goes on to detail the means and ways on how money was being siphoned. Amongst them, there were diversion of items for personal use, so people would buy things and then they get the things to their respective houses. A total of six million worth of items were diverted for personal use. And then there were uncounted and missing cash or missing vouchers. The reports indicate that 86 million in cash was uncounted for. 83 million rather, 83 million uh, Malawi kwacha was not accounted for. And then there were payments of undue allowances, e.g. payments of unnecessary allowances within duty stations and payment of allowances to non-existing or ghost workers. We lost 77 million uh, to that. And then there was the issue of fuel about 40 million Malawi kwacha were used on fuel purchases that were not liquidated, missing, not accounted for, or diverted or refunds that were not supported by any receipts. And then there were misprocurement, exorbitant charges on goods and services without justification. 
to a tune of 488 million. After the cash cat scandal, one would have thought that the system in the use of public funds would be strengthened, but it seems that the free-for-all looting is going on and abated. Public servants looted funds using ghost activities, ghost, got, ghost companies, displacement of fuel for activities that were non-existent. Without uh, Taking much of your time, I think most of the things that um, are highlighted in this email, uh, in, in, in this uh, rather uh, statement, in the introduction phase, are common knowledge. But as HRDC, we would want to spend much of our time in putting forward our recommendations and then our demands. At this point, I would invite Comrade uh, Beatrice to take us to those uh, sections of the statement. Thank you. Uh, firstly, our recommendations, we recommend a complete overhaul of the civil service. As we have seen, there are rotten apples everywhere, and the tree is rotten to the core. So we need a complete overhaul so that we, we plant fresh from the roots to grow. Secondly, we demand that the Malawi Police Service, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, alongside all law enforcement agencies, investigate all the companies that benefited from the unlawful procurements. And then we demand that after the investigations, these companies should be blacklisted and delisted from public procurement. We also recommend that government should strengthen its procurement system to ensure that they put an end to this looting. As Malawians, we are tired but seeing our public resources being stolen continuously. And then lastly, government should put in place a legal response that deters a repetition of such public looting. Our demands as HRDC and Malawians, we demand that our money should be paid back. As per the recommendations of the National Audit Office, we demand that all the culprits that have benefited from this money should pay back the money. Everyone that abused the money should pay back. The president owes the nation an explanation on the emerging issues surrounding misprocurement in the office of the president and cabinet and how this will, address, will be addressed. We also demand that all senior controlling officers in government, including those at, at OPC, should be interdicted and this includes those at local district councils, because then that will allow the rule of law to take its course. We also demand that practices that are criminal in nature should be taken over by the law enforcement authorities for prosecution. The audit report clearly states the names of people that abuse the funds, so it should be a walk in the park for the law enforcement agencies. We have also noted that the Malawi Police Service and the Malawi Defense Force are conspicuously missing from the audit report. We wonder why that is so. Their absence from the report raises more questions than answers. And we need to know how these institutions used the money. After all, it is public money. We also demand the establishment of a special court to deal with this fraud because we need a quick turnaround. As you all are aware, COVID is a disease that is happening very fast, so we need a quick turnaround on this issue. A quick resolution and prosecution of the culprits in this case will send a clear message to civil servants on the quick heels of justice. We are giving government seven days to arrest the seven, the, sorry, we are giving government seven days to arrest the suspected culprits and to give us an action plan on how the money will be recovered. Or else HRDC will mobilize Malawians to hold mass demonstrations across Malawi on April 29th if our demands are not met. 
In conclusion, we are saying HRDC and Malawians we will no longer be spectators and watch as our money is being abused. We will make sure that every Zambara is accounted for and our money paid back to its rightful place. Uh, this is what I say as in Zanga, Madi Muna Dingo Nen and Jijewa. Amalawi, Mujigara, Jidunena Gudi, Zone Graboya, Gudian to Amagawa and Alama, Njirazo Sena Siana, Gadima Sweet, Bangi Sama Workshop, Magawa and Ditma Allowance, Pena, Muna and Sana Video Amango, Amango Demba Maina. Kumaso Kamakula Gadundu, Amabera, Amalawi, Munjirazo Sena Siana, Pamene, Amalawi, Agma Vudiga and Zbadala, Maso Ama Oxygen, Pala Amalawi, Sena Siana, Amene Ndi Tu, Ama Songha, Limozi Limozi, Uda Tandizire, Amalawi and Zao, Amene Ndi Tu, Ama Vudiga and Zbadala, Udi Ndi Tu, Akare Moyo, Kumada Ona Ndi Tu, Udi. Banana Malawi and Andi too, and Abanga will meet the genocide. Yo, what we regard Malawi, who did a lose Mioyo, Yao. The Muribodi men and Andi too, to Nena Guti, and to Onse, Amena Kuzidua, Ninghani Mene, Toyamba, to Funandi to Gudi, Ayosed and Shido, Kayadi Office, Yawa President, because the Baringhan is in as a Kuzandi to OPC. They do not support president. They do not. I will send to Ndwa Malawi. Kodi kodi wo mkhani mene kuchu ga kodi e na ditu amabobera ga ni mpemvu ga ni jana ni ninety seven million. The mene ditu na nongega ga kuzera procurement. Kodi a president mkhani mene ya kuzi wa nde a foro kuzera to Ndwa Malawi. Mkhani mene zina jiri ga office ya president. They do not support kodi and don't send ditu mene kuzi do ni mkhani mene zina. Aye ni nadi tu, au ni mara mulo la mulo likubiren shito. Koma sawa karendo nime goe nera, kodi kodi nala mazatu zimene anthu aji agadi maswidis, adi bezera branch ngada Malawi. Jifuga Malawi au gurika nadi tu zibadalamu, Mr Ondo nongega, de de kufuna nadi tu kodi nala mazimene zibezedwe kodi zikubiren shito e nera yotandi zadi tu a Malawi. Nde tu kunde na kodi. Nkani zimenez zijidike seven days. Tukuziwa kudi ripoti isu ya siya madibati mentena kupolisi hudi diya usidi kuyona. Kwa zima ripoti ama pereka maklasta aja na pereka nditu kudi pangandrama mwakuti au nungandrama mwakuti apena grisa nchito ndrama mwakuti. Ndiye tukufuna so kudi au hudi di general office aduuze kudi kudi ame ndi polisi. I see my report here with Fajan, and some other including more to report the money. They do not agree if they own the Malawi to go for the one in the Zugidiga within seven days. My sequel seven, the one in the two, and how just a shiro, and how Mangi Dambuomo, and I'm very going to my report now and the two president that I'm going to and I just said a shiro, and I just said a Namangido. Ndiye report ndi tu uchula wudu wawo ola wandu wakudu 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 Ndiye fetu na wudu yae Ndawe ya wana Zimene zindi tu mkuza uzi wanisa Seven days Ngati simudelo, ngati simuwanisa, ngati boma Ifeo ngati isha la DC Tarengeza kari mademo, mademo Halibo pa 29 epulo Mademo amene wa ajitika ndi tu Zigao zose Za uno malawi Zindi tu Jifugwa Siri ngani